Hello, this is Juliana Sproles checking in on the 26th of January, 2019 for an evening healing ritual. I just got back home from my registered volunteer firefighter class and the grocery store. So during our firefighter class today, a call came through um, regarding a car accident. It's amazing what comes across the radio throughout the day. I just wanted to light a candle and say a little prayer for healing for anyone affected by cardiac arrest or car accidents or any other ailment. And let this be a reminder to us to continue to be grateful for our health and our wellness, as well as take charge of our own health and well-being by exercising and in inviting others to come along with us on our healthy path. On Monday, I'm taking my personal training recertification exam, and later in the week, a group fitness exam. And 80% of the chronic illness that happens in this country can be prevented by a healthier lifestyle. So that's a very broad category and a very broad topic, but every little bit adds up. So here's a light to our health and well-being. And I'm thanking all my functioning cells today for the job they play in keeping me going. All right, so as it is the end of January, I would like to pull a card or two, balancing card today on our evening healthy, so we'll say our evening health our evening healing ritual and also studying, test taking, um, retaining information, being able to communicate eloquently, lead by example for ourselves and those around us. Because it is a lot more fun when we work together, isn't it? Wow. Okay. Solar plexus. 43. Apologize for that. Got a little carried away there. Okay. So let's see what goes with solar plexus today. Crown chakra is on the bottom of the deck. Sometimes I close my eyes and I drop the cards. All right, focus and breathe. Spirit, please light our path. Spirit, please clear and remove 100% of unnecessary vibrations. All things in the name of the Great Spirit and the God above. In the name of Jesus. We ask you to help us with a few balancing messages this evening for our healthy journey in oneness and gratitude and love. It might, whoops. <laughs> All right, number 44. It's a time of new beginnings, along with solar plexus. Card number 43 and 44. Card number 7. 
in card number 28. Here we are. In the center of our spread today, we have Radiance. Card number 37. Okay, card number 37. Is what we all strive for in some sense of the word. Enjoyment, fulfillment, overflow, firmness, influence, expansion, transmission. Radiance is the constant eternal flow of light that is our birthright. Who we are emanates outward from the light within our being in spite of personal struggles. Recognizing the beauty of our influence in the world is paramount to our balance and well-being. No matter the state of affairs today, focus on your radiance and the radiance of others. Allow yourself to be open to the overflow of love everywhere you look. Finding fulfillment while loving others is a skill set that must be cultivated. It takes practice. It's different than feeling love. It's about choosing to perceive the adoration that exists all around you. When the radiance card has chosen you, you're being asked to witness love in all its forms. So that's at the very center, center, which is me, us, you, we, in the current situation. It's something that we really all strive for and are capable of. We're all capable of influence and enjoyment, overflowing expansion, transmission, okay? So above the future, we had the spring card. Okay, number 44 is a beautiful card. Spring represents new beginnings, for one thing. We are in winter right now in the Northern Hemisphere. But we also are at the beginning of a new cycle, beginning of a new year. And this card wants to fly off the table. Joy, threatened freshness comes along with radiance, doesn't it? Joy, freshness, new beginning, expression, gentleness, beauty. A season of new expression is upon you, exclamation point. You can feel it in the wind. Is that why it kept knocking over? You, oh, I see. The wind is, the ceiling fan is on. A season of new expression is upon you. You can feel it in the wind as it brushes behind the back of your neck and the sun as it activates the sensation of movement in your body. Now you are ready and supported in all ways to do what may have felt like a risk at any other time. What appears to be existing precariously can sometimes just be waiting for the right exposure to the elements to augment its maximum growth. Now is the time to embrace the power that 
gentleness inspires. Have confidence and take deliberate action. This will garner the universal support that is your birthright. All right, radiance and new beginning. We're moving and grooving. Yes, we are. We're activating our solar plexus, the past, all of our desires from what we have all of the desires we've been dreaming of and all of the power we have within us has been sort of um, almost incubating and being stored, shored up, power, presentation, position, concoct, implementation, fabricate, presence. Nothing is more valuable in terms of human interaction than first impressions or how you present your position Regardless of its truth, others will remember what you say about yourself. They'll remember your disposition or the confidence of your actions, even if you don't believe in them. This is a basic principle of successful marketing. Ultimately, your goal is to be authentic in how you present yourself, matching how you feel to the impression you give. The solar plexus of the body is the center where you process emotion. It's from here you stake a claim to your place in the real world. Our emotions transmit our deepest expression. So when you're going through any kind of transition, purifying on any level will greatly improve your condition. Wow, these are all very in line. So the solar plexus and the new beginnings, beginnings <clears throat> excuse me, help, me, help us radiate. And um, our animal spirits... Number seven are another aid to us on our healthy journey and healing path. Number seven is the healing spirits. This is what you want or really need. And um, we do appreciate revelation. We do appreciate support, ancient knowledge, ally, eternal love, and directness. So our animal brothers and sisters are par powerful allies. They, <clears throat> they reveal themselves to you in important times of change to offer their wisdom, love, and support. Animals are beautiful in their straightforward simplicity. And my black lab just came in to say hello from his walk. Right now the family's coming home. Thank you, Rocky. You're so nice. Hi, Rocky. Good boy. Animal spirits. Okay. Bear with me here. What's happening this evening? Animal spirits. Our animal brothers and sisters are powerful allies. They reveal themselves to you in important times of change to offer their wisdom, love, and support. Animals are beautiful in their straightforward simplicity. They are direct and guileless in all of their affairs. They eat when they're hungry, defend themselves when attacked, and are always full of adoration. If an animal crosses your path in a thought, dream, or the real world, it's bringing a message to you from your creator. Pay close attention. The four-legged or winged ones, sorry, the four-legged or winged ones are conduits of love. They are here to show you how love is expressing itself in your current situation. Look to the traits of the animal spirit at hand to decipher this message. Thank you, animal spirits. We do wish eternal love, don't we? Giving and receiving it. Thank you, Rocky the Lab. And then, how are we going to achieve eternal love? It's through our intentions. And acting upon our intentions, card number 28. Right, intention is foundation. Create, concentrate, attract, belief, projection, blueprint. Intention is the foundation of an idea being called into manifestation. It creates an energetic blueprint, including the idea to be fulfilled and everything needed to bring the idea into completion, mentally, emotionally, physically, and spiritually. There is purpose in all things, so it's important to take heart in your current situation. 
Consider the foundation you are sitting upon and exactly what intention created it. What need has already been met? What need has it left you with? Our intentions often stem from a limited view of our situation. If that's the case, you may want to elevate your intention to a less limited concept like happiness, fulfillment, stability, or an easy flow. Leave the creative judgment to your higher realms. All right. So, here are intentions and acting upon them. We access eternal love through animal spirits. And we are able to radiate. I apologize for the background noise. All the boys just came home from their walk on the mountain, looking over the Atlanta skyline. So I will sign out for now. Have a good night. Juliana Sproles, signing out.